Back in Expert Agent, there are multiple ways you can add offers into the system. You can add an offer from the Applicant Record on the Offers tab by clicking Add a New Offer or on the Action menu, clicking New Offer. You can add an offer from the Property Record on the Offers tab by clicking Add a New Offer or on the Property Action menu as well. You can add an offer from the Offers Dashboard, drop down, Grid and from a match and from a viewing appointment as well. So many different places that you can add an offer from the system. And regardless of where you start, you will always be directed to the add an offer wizard. If you go through a match or through a viewing, both the property and the applicant will be assigned. If you go through the applicant, you would need to assign the property. If you go through the property, you would need to assign the applicant. And if you go through the offers top menu here, you would need to assign both. So clicking on to our applicant record because it's going to be the applicant that comes into the office to initiate that process and onto the office tab and clicking add a new offer from the bottom. And that will take us through to the add offer wizard. At the top here we've got offer type. Now if you have what we call Scottish offers turned on, the notes of interest, you will have the option of noting down whether this is an actual interest in the property or an actual official offer. Now a lot of people do not have the notes of interest turned on, in which case you will not get the option up here. It will just default to be an applicant offer. They're also called the Scottish offers or notes of interest. So if you are interested in those, please get in touch with your account managers. But that is just to note down interest in the property and keep them on the system. We're going to be adding in an applicant offer. And then on the options here, we've got property and applicant. Now, if we hadn't been through either, we've gone through the offer option in the top menu, we would need to assign both. Because we went through the applicant record, I've got the applicant attached here. I need to now click on the plus icon for the property details and search for my property. Using the wildcard feature up at the top and selecting my property from the list. That will bring through the property amount here and we can add in the offer amount. So we can put the offer amount of 335. We can also mark the offer as under the property as under offer at this point. We've got our notes of interest here. If we need to, we can note down the interest of the property. We've got our private summary. And if we're using the vendor portal, we have got our current summary for vendor. Now, even if you're not using the vendor portal, you can still put the notes in here of what you would be speaking to your vendor about, what you would be telling your vendor. If you are using the vendor portal, anything you add into this box, they will be able to see. So I'm just going to type in here, uh, Steve is a very proceedable buyer, well worth considering as he's very keen on the property. You've got offer extras and conditions here. So if it was a thatch, maybe they want the thatch done first before they um, look at the offer, or maybe they want the carpets left in the property or anything along those lines. It's a very simple one page wizard and I can press the save button. And that will create our offer record.